good Monday morning. It's a great day to have a great day. So go ahead and have that great day. Well, here's a self-care reminder for you on this Monday morning. Never ignore the signals of when your body needs to rest or not feeling it's 100% best. Remember, there is only one you. Your health and your well-being comes first. Everything else will fall into place. Take heed to this self-care reminder on this Monday morning. My name is Jamaria Lady J. Darden, and I'm unapologetically a whole vibe. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share to all the socials. Unapologetically a whole vibe, Jamaria Lady J. Darden on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on TikTok at LadyJ83. I really do appreciate your support. Have a wonderful Monday. Good Tuesday morning. It's a great day to have a great day, so go ahead and have that great day. What I want you to do right now is take a moment to place your hand over your heart right now. You feel that heart beating? That's your internal metronome, your own personal drummer, your purpose, a sign that you are worth it to somebody and the blessing of a new morning for you. Make the most of this gift and run with it. That blank canvas is waiting for your potential masterpiece. It's up to you what you make out of this opportunity. Shine on and smile on because you never know who may be inspired by you and your journey. My name is Jamaria Lady J. Darden and I'm unapologetically a whole vibe. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share to all the socials. Unapologetically a whole vibe, Jamaria Lady J. Darden on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on TikTok at Lady J83. Have a great Tuesday. Good Wednesday morning. It's a great day to have a great day. So go ahead and have that great day. Well, my favorite podcast to listen to is Brain Stacks with Jackson Matz, which is co-hosted by two of my friends, Max Poor and Jackson Hubbard. And on a previous ha- episode, Brain Stacks co-host Jackson Hubbard mentioned a quote um, that I wanted to leave with you today. Do good recklessly. But have you really taken a moment to think about what doing good recklessly means to you? I feel for me that in order to do good recklessly, we have to proactively be the positive change that we wish to see in the world being mindful of the kind of lasting impact that we leave on others and realizing that we are all part of a collective consciousness trying to navigate through life the best way that we can. So I leave with you on this Wednesday, do good recklessly. My name is Jamaria Lady J. Darn and I'm unapologetically a whole vibe. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share to all the socials. Unapologetically a whole vibe. Jamaria Lady J. Darn on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on TikTok at Lady J83. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Good Thursday morning. It's a great day to have a great day. So go ahead and have that great day. Well, let's have a quick talk about grief. Just as death is inevitable, grief is also inevitable. And there is no distinct timeline for grieving. All of us have been directly and indirectly connected with grief throughout our lifetime and more so over the last couple of years. We all have our different ways of coping with grief and there is no one correct way to grieve. Grief comes in waves and when it hits us, it can hit us hard regardless of whether we are grieving over a family family member, friend, loved one, or even a celebrity we happen to admire. So let us give each other some grace in grieving because at the end of the day, we're all trying to navigate through life in the best way that we can. My name is Jamaria Lady J. Darden and I'm unapologetically a whole vibe. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share to all the socials. Unapologetically a whole vibe, Jamaria Lady J. Darden on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on TikTok at Lady J 83. Have a wonderful Thursday. Good Friday morning. It's a great day to have a great day. So go ahead and have that great day. I know today is April Fool's Day, but let's pause and talk about an all too common trend within social media. Whenever something bad really happens that is documented in the media, there's that need or that urge to make blanket statements based on a viewpoint through a one-sided lens. We've all been guilty of having a tendency to quickly be reactionary to what we see rather than taking a moment to pause and process the information. In taking that pause, it allows the opportunity to make an informed statement or opinion on the matter less arguments and conflict to arise and more of having critically thoughtful discussions. It is a lesson and a reminder that sometimes it's better to be observant than to be opinionated. My name is Jamaria Lady J. Darn and I'm unapologetically a whole vibe. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share to all the socials. Unapologetically a whole vibe, Jamaria Lady J. Darn on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on TikTok at Lady J83. Have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend.